Okay, this is called a snow sport utility plow. Made of aluminum, so it won't really corrode. And it's got a rubber bottom blade. It won't peel up the grass. The downside is the rubber blade will not scrape the ice as good as it could as a regular plow, but there's huge, huge benefits to having it that way. The rubber blade's like that thick, so it's really heavy duty. And it does wear down and you can replace it. This is my dog, Millie. <laughs> So this is how it works. It works off of any two inch Reese Hitch receiver. You can actually plow off the back of a vehicle with it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend just getting a two, three hundred dollar front hitch and plowing off the front like a traditional plow. It works as good as a traditional plow and it's super easy and you won't damage anything because if it's on the back, you're going to just ram into stuff. So, so basically this is the plow mount and it just slides into your hitch. I usually leave this on all winter long. I do take the plow off just to prevent theft. This thing works so fast and so easy that if you were to go in a parking lot, someone could heist this whole plow frame and the actual plow itself literally in 30 seconds. I want to say it weighs 70 pounds. But the best way is just to pick it up one side at a time and just pull up to it with your truck or your car or whatever you're using. This is how you would drive down the road. You just stick your pins in. So when you're ready to plow, you just take it out of this holder area right here. The whole plow will be able to slide up and down vertically and then slide it down. And then you put your pin in that side. Same to this side. It works like a shovel. When you're pushing, it locks against itself the way that it is right now and it shoves snow. When you go backwards, it kind of just drags backwards like you would drag a shovel. So it's super simple, no electronic, hydraulics, nothing to break. The blade on the bottom is real thick like this rubber side piece. This is a seven footer on a full size truck, so you can get an eight footer, which would probably plow a little bit better. I actually like this size because then if I do make a quick run to get gas or go into town or something, I can fit in between cars and stuff a little bit easier. It does have this pin. You can actually pull this up and then you can swing the plow left or right. So if you have like a super long driveway or something and kind of scoop the snow off to one side or the other. The HD models come with these side scoops. I've never pivoted this plow left or right ever. It stays straight forward. It works perfect. And these little scoops encapsulate enough snow where it's not even worth getting out of the truck to twist this thing unless you got a super long driveway or a very specific need. Basically, this is the setup. Straight ahead, this thing's five, six years old. It'll probably last to be 10 or 15 as long as I don't damage anything, but it will take quite a bit of abuse. You know, it has its limitations. You, you could definitely damage this thing if you don't know what you're doing. You're just ramming stuff. So far, it's been really good for me and I've plowed massive snow banks. Stay tuned for next week's video, part two in the snow plowing series where I install the snow sport plow on the back of a Subaru Forester and I test the limitations of this little plow on a little car. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.